Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where you will find lots of useful things for babies, toddlers and young children. In this video I will be reading another popular series, The Lars Family and the book is A Piece of Cake by Jill Murphy. So let's get started. I'm fat, said Mrs. Lars. No, you are not, said Lester. You are our cuddly mummy, said Laura. You were just right, said Luke. Mummy's got wobbly beads, said the baby. Exactly, said Mrs. Lars. As I was saying, I'm fat. We must all go on a diet, said Mrs. Lars. No more cakes, no more biscuits, no more crisp. No more sitting around. No more sitting around all day. From now on, it's a Healthy living. Can we watch TV? said Lester as they dropped in from school. Certainly not, said Mrs. Lars. We are all off for a nice healthy jog around the park. And they were? What's for tea, Mom? asked Laura when they arrived at home. Some nice healthy watercress soup, said Mrs. Lars, followed by a nice healthy cup of water. Oh, said Laura, that sounds nice. I'm just going to watch the news there said Mr. Lars when he came from work. No, you are not, dear, said Mrs. Lars. You are off for a nice healthy jog around the park, followed by your tea, a delicious sardine with a grated carrot. I can't wait, said Mr. Lars. It was awful. Every morning there was a healthy breakfast followed by exercise. Then there was a healthy tea followed by healthy exercise. By the time evening come, everyone felt terrible. We are not we aren't getting any thinner, dear, said Mr. Lars. Perhaps elephants are meant to be a fat, said Luke. Nonsense, said Mr. Mrs. Lars. We must not give up now. Wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly went the baby. One morning a parcel arrived. It was a cake from Granny. Everyone started at it hopefully. Mrs. Lars put it into the cupboard on a high shelf, just in case we have a visitor, she said suddenly. Everyone kept thinking about the cake. They thought about it during a tea. They thought about it during the healthy jog. They thought about it in bed that night. Mrs. Lars sat up. I can't stand it anymore, she said to herself. I must have a piece of that cake. Mrs. Lars crept out of 
bed and went downstairs to the kitchen. She took a knife out of the drawer and opened the cupboard. There was only one piece of cake left. Aha! said Mr. Lars, seeing the knife caught in the act. Mrs. Lars switched on the light and saw Mr. Lars and all the children hiding under the table. There is one piece left, said Laura in a helpful way. Mrs. Lars began to laugh. <laughs> we are all as bad as each other, she said, eating the last piece of cake before anyone else did. I do think elephants are mean to be a fat, said Luke. I think you are probably right, dear, said Mrs. Lars. Wibbly, wobbly, wibbly, wobbly went the baby. And since then, no more jogging. Thanks for visiting my page, and I hope you enjoyed the book. Remember to subscribe to my channel as soon as we're done here. And uh, please don't forget to press that like button and also don't forget to share with a family and friend and don't forget to put the notification bell on so you can have my video as soon as I post and hopefully I hope to see you in next video. Thank you everyone.